today is exactly a week till our movers come in and move all our stuff for us which oh i'm better now but when it was like this time last week so when it was exactly two weeks before the big move i completely freaked out going we have a half down kitchen half down bathrooms the studio wasn't even painted like the studio was still a dumping ground and it was just chaos thankfully in the last week we managed to clear everything out of the studio that doesn't need to be there and painted the walls white so that it's nice and i also day before yesterday i managed to build five bookcases in an evening which i didn't think i could do so i'm really proud of that and it's also given me loads of storage space to store a lot of my art stuff so what i want to do today is to pack my studio as much as i can because there are some that i'm still needed to create storage for first or maybe the storage from here is going over there by the movers so there are certain things that i'm still holding off taking over there until i either have a storage for or the space for but I'm going to try packing as much as I can today. There is one very slightly big problem with me doing packing and that is that I have ADHD and I didn't know this until about a couple of years ago but with ADHD it's not like I can't pay attention to things because obviously I can but it's executive functioning so it's things like how do you order what to do things that I have a serious problem with and this is why I'm like always on top of the to-do list and planning because that's the only way I can manage. Tidying and therefore also packing is a huge, huge stress for me because I don't know where to begin. When I look at the situation, everything comes at me at once and I can't figure out what to do. Normally I have my husband to help me order things in which I should approach things, but he's not here today because he's over at the other apartment as there's a plumber collecting all the things that we disconnected before back in. So like the kitchens and the bathrooms are getting connected. We now have a working sink and tap in the kitchen, which is amazing, but he's not here. So I'm just gonna have to figure this out. So I was hoping if you would come with me and keep me company so I don't freak out too much. And I just wanted to explain that to you guys to explain if I look overwhelmed or like upset and things that it, that's why it's not that I'm, not happy about moving, I'm really happy about moving, but I find this hugely, hugely overwhelming and anxiety ridden and I get really panicked. So please don't worry if I look really upset <laughs> at times. It's, I know I'm going to be, so it's okay. So this is the view of my studio right now. I've taken a few things over there that was easy to pack and take over. So that is done already, thank goodness. But now I'm like, where do I start? And I'm thinking, I have loads of glasses <laughs> and water-filled stuff on the table. So I'm going to get rid of those first and then just clear this table, basically. So pack the books. I just got these books from Amazon Japan and I'm in love with them. I showed you, it to you guys on Instagram what the books are, but I'm pretty sure I will do like a review if if not one by one, then just like this whole lot, just to talk about what the books I have are. But around here are all stuff that are going around my desk and I don't have the storage for that yet because the storage for around the desk is actually the storage we already have here. So like, this is gonna be one of them. It's not moving till Sunday, not Sunday, Friday. So most of these are staying, but I can definitely pack all this kind of stuff but i just get really anxious because i'm like what box do i have and what order do i put like oh see i, ca I can't even talk anymore i get really stressed out of like what else should i put in that same box with and stuff so i'm just going to focus on the first thing which is get rid of some of these glass and pack these books
paint all cleared and now I want to tackle this but first I need to get boxes out and the boxes are all in there behind this lot this is if you haven't checked out my other earlier vlog this is all to do with stuff that are staying here because this is a rented flat and we need to replace lots of things oh since we've been here for 10 years but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get to the boxes because I know that the boxes are behind that door yeah wish me luck <laughs> One of the things I'm trying to do is to not pack stuff together just because they're together here but trying to think of where they will be in the new place so things like the grease proof paper was right next to the stack of notebook stuff I've had but in the new place it's not gonna be which just adds another layer of thinking and panicking and not knowing what to do but i'm gonna try my best and try to book things I, there have been a box or two already that i would just kind of went so that i just I was back and figure it out over there which is not ideal but it's the reality of the situation so while i'm here having coffee i thought i'd let you guys know why I am not going to be involved in the moving day itself. So I've hired two guys that come highly recommended with a van and it's just going to be those two guys and my husband doing the moving and I'm actually getting babysat <laughs> by a friend of mine um, who also recommended us the moving guys for the day. We're going to go out shopping because and there's a really good reason for this and this was always an agreed thing that I will do everything except for getting involved in a moving day and that is because moving has so much trauma for me or not the move act of moving well not the moving itself but the act of carrying heavy heavy things up and down the stairs multiple times has a lot of trauma for me now this is my 16th house move that alone <laughs> you can kind of imagine is a stressful traumatic thing but not counting in those 16 move is the eight years I spent in boarding school so since between the age of 10 to 18 I was put in a boarding school because my mom wanted me to have education over here and but they over there in Japan so the only way I could study here was to get into a boarding school in I don't know how it works in other boarding schools but in our boarding school you had to you get a room for a term or a semester so that's like three months and then at the end of that three months you have to pack absolutely everything you own take it downstairs there will be like a trunk for you to put your stuff in and you have to do that yourself and then at the beginning of the next semester you'll turn up to school and you'll get told what room to you're gonna go in and with whom you want to go in. you didn't have a choice about that and then you have to take all the stuff that, that was in the trunk and boxes downstairs back up to whatever room you're next going to be in. So every th like three times a year, I would have to pack everything I own, take it downstairs. And then every three times a year, I had to then take it back up the stairs. And like this <laughs> building that we were in had, I think, about four floors. And as a 10 year old, and I didn't know about how to have minimal stuff. I didn't know how to keep my stuff organized. So every end of semester, I would end up literally crying up and down the stairs while I carried 
so much stuff and then the teachers would get, just yell at me and say you shouldn't have so much stuff but there was no one to help me figure out how to reduce my stuff and I think this is why I really got into minimalism when I was in my 20s because it was just like a re release from all that trauma. Now I've obviously been in therapy since then and I'm a lot more comfortable with things but just the act of taking things up and down the stairs have really traumatized me and I just can't do it. I mean, I can do it like once or twice a day. So whenever we go to the other apartment, I take stuff with me and then I take it out. That's okay. I do flashback, but it's not too bad. Whereas I know if I have to do that for a whole day, I'm going to just be super traumatized and I'm going to be in such a bad mood that I'm probably going to hinder everyone else rather than if I was just not there at all. So that's the agreement is that I'm not doing the moving itself and my husband's totally fine with that because in return I actually found the apartment I and I, I did all the process in purchasing the apartment because he's not so keen on that part I'm like that's okay I'll deal with that bit it's not a problem so I think it's a fair deal really <laughs> considering considering buying the, the apartment took about six seven weeks to do and this is just one day so I don't feel bad and yeah so there won't be a vlog of us carrying the boxes up and down the stairs because I'm not going to be there to film I'm going to be somewhere nice I'm going to be in a cafe and then we're going to go thrift shopping everywhere because she loves thrifting and I do too so yes, that's why we're not gonna have a moving vlog. I have to say, now that the studio is painted white and not that dark gray, it's so much better. It's so much brighter and it feels like a normal room now rather than a dark room. And But what was interesting was when I was painting around the sockets and things, I could see splatters of paint. And at some point, that room was blood red, as in like proper blood red, as in like, this kind of red because i've seen loads of splashes of this color on every single socket which means it's on every single wall in that room i think that's insane to paint that room blood red but i'm sure it's like some people would say that it's insane to paint that room white because then it looks like a hospital or something so it eats to their own taste but yeah i was just like wow this room used to be blood red at some point that's even darker can you imagine like every single room wall in of that oh wow yeah there you go I'm, I'm not i am not in any way nagging on people who have blood red room i think you know if you can pull the look off that's cool but to have that particular room which is really dark to begin with in dark red it's just like that must have been really really dark room then anyway i am gonna drink the rest of my coffee in my favorite coffee mug and then I'm gonna get on with more packing. I'm glad I talked to you about this, um, my anxieties involving moving and just taking this coffee break because I do feel a lot better already. I have pretty much finished packing. Let's ignore that stuff up there. I'll do it another day. But most of the stuff that are like out and about are now packed. You may notice these orange post-it notes. And that is there because my husband is going to be doing the moving of the boxes. And I just him need him to be able to tell which one to bring over and which ones not to bring over because I don't want him to like bring all this over and then find out he's got to take it all the way back. So I thought if I just stick some orange post-it notes that makes it really clear to him which ones he's supposed to be bringing over. I'm really happy with my progress. This is all empty. This is all empty. This is all empty. So really good. I didn't think I would get this far today. 
So, oh, these are just tapes that I'm going to be using for the packing. Really happy with the progress. So it's after dinner now. We had a delicious Lebanese and this is how the studio is looking. This is the five bookcases that I built the other day. I need to build two more that's going to be over here. They're little short ones. I think I'm going to build those first because then I'm going to have the storage that I need to put stuff in. And I thought that would make sense. So I will get on with that first. Oh, I got one bookcase in place. There's the other one. But I forgot that there's a plug behind here. I don't know if you can see it. And obviously before I start stacking that bookcase with stuff, I want to run the plugs out. And I totally forgot about that. <laughs> so my husband is going to grab me some when he goes up back to the other apartment and comes back. So I think I'm going to start unpacking the rest. My first plan is to stock up this bookcase because it's all going to be like the dot cards and all the cards and the paper that I've cut for it. So let's get started with that. It is just gone half past nine in the evening and this is how far I've got. Let me show you. I got a bit carried away. I'm back in that I forgot to film. But so far I have this bookcase that's all yarn. This I haven't unpacked stuff yet. This is all going to be Patreon stuff. And then around the corner, this is where all my paints are going to be stored. This is where all my palettes are going to be stored because I'm going to be palletting out all the paints that are in there. So I'm going to need loads of palette storage space. I, even though I haven't got those palettes yet, I know I'm going to need all this space. So I'm just reserving it for that already. And then this is all my stationery and brushes. And there's going to be the table's going to go here. And then there's going to be two more short bookcases here so that it's like a nice island. If that doesn't make sense, then I'll put a link up here for the vlog where I planned it all so you can see where things are going to go. So yeah, I'm really happy for one day of work. 
between me and my husband, my poor husband who had to bring all the boxes in for me very kindly. I am very happy with it. So with this awesome background, I am going to bid you goodbye because I'm knackered, I'm going to go home and then probably edit this video tomorrow and then have it up for you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching this video and also thank you so, so much for so many of you signing up to subscribe on this channel. I think we're like at 780, which is absolutely insane. And I think we're about... 220 away from the thousand that we need in terms of the subscriber number i think you also need 100 watch hours as well i can't quite remember to have this channel monetized which is just insane i didn't think we'd get this close to it already so thank you so so much for all your support and for coming over on this channel and checking out the vlog i hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you guys in the next episode bye